It's a long word. It is. <laughs> You're doing better than me at trying to pronounce it. Yeah, I think trying. the important one's been Bing Dwen Dwen. Making oh, sure that uh, you know yeah, that mascot. Yeah, the mascot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can say that one. <laughs> I can at least can't like make an attempt. Ones. Yes. But now I'm going to be watching the length of some of these skis at the events. Right. It's interesting to see that yeah. it makes sense it's all different uh -huh. equipment. But We're learning so a lot. Hard. Yes, learning, a lot. <laughs> learning all sorts of stuff. And as far as what's going over in Beijing right now, they are watching for cold conditions. So there's at least one similarity to what's going on right here in central Ohio. Another thing that they're watching for that I think some of the athletes may actually be looking forward to is some fresh powder that natural snowfall moving in for both Wednesday and Friday and you notice temperatures in the 20s and 30s so again that's pretty similar to what our weather's been now live viper radar it's been showing some changes compared to the weekend we've been getting rid of any of those snow showers even yesterday we saw on the high end about a trace of snow to upwards of a half an inch of snowfall down toward Athens and all of that is moving out and that means improvements to our visibility as well right now window nation tower camera showing that nice clear view We've been watching for a light breeze, so we aren't expecting the camera to be shaking around at all. But I do want to at least give you the heads up that even a light three mile per hour wind out of the northwest, it's adding that extra chill factor. So in Columbus, 12 degrees, feeling a lot more like it is only six out there. And temperatures as a whole, we're about 10 degrees colder than where we started off the day yesterday. So that 12 degrees in Columbus, far from the cold spot. We're down to just eight degrees in Abusiris, Mount Gilead, Marion, Mount Vernon now holding on to single digits as well at only nine degrees. If you do have any outdoor plans or even if you're just th looking ahead to your Valentine's Day dinner, want to give you the heads up. Layers are going to be your friend because we will add back in some sunshine this afternoon and temperatures will be maxing out at 26 degrees. So make sure, of course, alongside grabbing the sunglasses for driving around that you have that warm winter coat ready to go. We're watching for a change of pressure as we head toward the second half of the work week. We will have this weak disturbance sliding through tonight, giving the best chance for any of those snow showers well up to the north and east. You notice though for us here in the middle part of the state, it's just going to give us a few passing clouds and that'll be about all the moisture that we get from this system. High pressure, it'll dominate the forecast as we head toward the day tomorrow and then a cold front starts to build into the west by Wednesday. Want to point out as well, Wednesday and Thursday, so looking now to the second half of the week, that'll be where we see a strong southern breeze and that's going to be important because it's going to boost our temperatures to the 50s and that means ahead of the front we'll be watching for rain showers building in. Now the rest of the day today we will be dry we're clearing out the clouds but it's going to be very cold in fact those temperatures only maxing out in the 20s that's about where you'd expect an average low temperature this time of the year. Normal highs right around 40 degrees and that's exactly where we're going to be by tomorrow morning thanks to the addition of not only the sunshine but a bit more of a southerly shift in the wind. Now the sunshine and southerly breeze that takes in full force by Wednesday. We'll be ahead of the cold front at that point looking at mid 50s for both Wednesday and Thursday. But that really big change Wednesday night into the day on Thursday will be rainfall and a colder end of the work week.